This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Professor Lars Fuger talks about his research on multiple sclerosis. Hi Lars. What is multiple sclerosis and what causes it? So multiple sclerosis is um, a disease that is affecting the brain and the central nervous system. It's uh, a disease where the immune system all of a sudden, instead of attacking, invading viruses and bacteria, go wrong and start to attack the brain and the central nervous system. It's a so-called autoimmune disease. It's unknown today what's causing multiple sclerosis. It's a combination of genetic factors, genes we're getting from our parents, and the unknown uh, environmental factors. Can you give us examples of these environmental factors? It has been discussed for many, many years which factors in our environment that could cause or trigger MS. So we should be careful when we talk about a single factor causing multiple sclerosis. We will have a combination of factors from our genes and from the environment. It has been speculated that Epstein-Barr virus is a triggering factor and there's evidence to suggest this, but it's a minor, minor risk factor. Apart from that, very few other environmental factors have been identified so far. And can your research help us to design better treatments? Our research is trying to um, take advantage of uh, the genetic revolution that is taking place in real time right now. So we are exploiting the newly identified genes to understand how they confer risk, how they predispose to multiple sclerosis. And uh, we are trying to translate that knowledge into a clinical setting. What are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five to 10 years? So clearly 20 years ago, we had no therapy we could treat the MS patients with today. We have eight drugs that have been registered to treat patients with MS. This has all come out of various research programs. You can't pinpoint a single research program, but you can say that they have all been coming together to show how MS can be treated. What we can treat today is the immune system that simply has gone wrong. We can keep that immune system at bay. And why does your research matter? Why should we put money into it? Our research is different from many other groups' research in the MS field because we are trying to understand in detail how various genes confer risk to MS. So we are trying to translate genetic findings into a clinical setting. We're trying to understand how you can uh, shine light on mechanisms in MS and how that can be translated into new therapies. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Our research is fitting quite well into a translational uh, approach within the department as we have already demonstrated how we can translate findings in the lab into a clinical setting. So we have recently been showing that a drug that was discovered in our lab also has efficacy. It has a good effect in MS patients. So it's a good example of how you can go from the lab to the bedside and translate basic findings into a clinical, meaningful context. Thank you, Lars.